Hey, do you want your garden to reflect just how patriotic you are? Well, Derek Thomas, our friend and How Does Your Garden Go segment, is here to show us how to make it all red, white, and blue. How are you, Allison? I'm fine, thank you. This is so lovely. Yeah, well, you know, the plants can absolutely conspire yes. to get us in the mood for the fourth. Okay. Um, what we did was, thanks to Johnson's Florist, mm -hmm. uh, they're they're linked up to the Fox website. Linked to us, yes. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but, you know, we've got some great examples of what you can do. What I did here was I actually took a flag. This is a trellis. We've got some mandevilla. This would be a great backdrop for your deck. I love you that. You know, you've got gloxinias, which are in the spirit with the red and the white. You can add a little bit of color and pop to that. I've added a, a flag again to the hydrangea just to jazz that up. Maybe your centerpiece if you're mm -hmm. doing going to do some formal dining for the fourth. Right. That'll be a great formal centerpiece. Here we've got like a trio. We've got an azalea, a penta, and a salvia all in the spirit. Now just in case you wanted to get, like, say, your girls involved, mm -hmm. what we can do... You're always suggesting this, Derek. Yeah. I think well, they yeah. come out to Uncle Derek's house and what, get involved. What, you're going to have to have them out, Alice. Okay. It, um, what you can do is you can start out with a clay container like this. And then send the girls over, Allison. Yes, I will. We'll take a, sh we'll take a trip to the, sh to the um, hardware store. Right. And then you can turn your containers into something like this. I love that. See, and yeah. the nice thing about that is for a couple of dollars, we've got a great, drop it that in there mm -hmm. like that. Sure. You know, or maybe if you wanted to add a little bit of red, mm -hmm. you can play with it. The other thing is, don't be afraid to come up with captivating combinations yourself. Mm -hmm. Because here we've got a blue petunia, a white vinca, and oh, a that. red caladium. Right, right. So you can, you know, when you go to the garden center and you're thinking about what you want to do with that setting, mm -hmm. go red, white, and blue for the holidays. I like it. And, uh, and the flag, and real, you know which one is my favorite, um, is, is what you said could be a formal centerpiece. I love how that looks. Isn't that great? Yes. I mean, in and of itself, it's in a really wonderful... Uh, high glazed mm -hmm. ceramic container. It's, beautiful. it's a beautiful lace cap hydrangea, and then we've just got a simple flag right in the center to add that elegant pop to okay. your formal table. And you pass along some really um, some good tips, and I like this one too. Pick a main color and then add accents of another, which you've kind of done with this. Right. You can pick a main theme if you want to go with red. Add your accent colors, or you can play off of like this is just red, and what we've done is we've accented the flag mm -hmm. as our yeah. accent color. As the other colors, because a lot of us will be sticking around this 4th of July and we don't want to feel like we're missing on the fun, right? Absolutely not. All right. You're just so great all the time. Uh, Derek Thomas, of course, Derek, uh, is with Thomas Landscaping and, of course, because it's your company. And right. that's why we like to have you here, because you are our expert. So these are some great ideas to uh, spruce up your garden for the 4th of July. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. And the